Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and I have a fantastic workout for you today. Today's workout is in our Body Sculpt series, so it is going to be 40 minutes long, 30 seconds cardio before each exercise, 50 seconds, as many repetitions as you can get in with good form. If you ever need to take a break, just get back into it as fast as possible, but otherwise try not to stop moving even if you slow down a little bit. Okay guys, so we do not need any equipment, have some water handy, um, and we are ready to go. I'm going to be doing jogging in place for my cardio. You can do high knees, which is even more intense. You can do jumping jacks, burpees, whatever you want to do. We're in our cardio now. Make sure we have some sound here. Here we go. Okay. So if you want to do high knees, it's like this, but you're going to go even higher and faster, driving those arms forward and backward. If you want to march in place, get those knees high, engaging those low abs, keeping the belly pulled in the whole time. And we're going to have a squat, tap, and reach. So we're going to squat, touch the floor, come onto the toes, and reach up. Here we go, squat and reach. And if you can't touch the floor, it's fine, just come as low as your range of motion. We'll let you go. Good job, come onto those toes. You've got this. Doing good. Keep going. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. Here we go, cardio. We're gonna have a pendulum chair next, all one side. When we lift our leg out to the side, knee faces forward, not up toward the ceiling. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All one side, come onto the toe of the leg you're lifting. Reach it out. Doing good. Like I said, all one side. So after our next cardio burst, we will do the other side. But still reaching back like it does in your squats. Doing good. Almost there. Cardio. And then we'll do the other side. Doing great. Less than 10 seconds. Here we go. Other side, come onto that toe. Chair squat, knee facing forward. Doing good. Excellent job, guys. Keep going. I lost my balance there for a second. Almost to the end. Two, 
one cardio. We're gonna have a prone heel press next. So we're gonna lay on our bellies on the mat. making as much space between your ground and the thighs as you can. Really squeeze through those glutes as you lift. Doing good, guys. Keep going. There we go. We're going to have a knee drop starfish next. So we'll be back down on the mat. Remember, your knees higher if you want to more tense. Here we go. Find that balance on your backside. One knee drops, other knee drops. Make an X with your body. Bring it up, repeat. Out in, out. Squeeze those inner thighs as you reach. Squeeze. And pull the belly button in as you lift. Less than 10 seconds. Good job, cardio. We're going to have a reverse hook crunch next. So again on the mat. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one. On the mat. Reverse hook. Hands can come behind the head or extend. So we're going to pretend that there's a bar little crunch, that you're hooking your knees over, little crunch, little crunch, and you can either keep your knees bent during that crunch, or extend them if you prefer, and it's a small movement bringing the ribs toward the hips. Keep going. We're getting there, last few seconds. Cardio. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have jump squats next. If the jump is too much, you're gonna squat and squeeze. Good 
Doing good. Less than 10 seconds. Don't quit. You can do it. Cardio. We're in a warrior to knee mess. If you need to hold on to something for balance, you can do that with the wall, the chair. There. Here we go. Okay, so it's going to be knee toward your chest, push that heel back, warrior three, all one side. Breathe, use those core muscles, and you're keeping your back flat the whole time. Hinging through the hips, bending the standing leg as needed. Doing good. Last five seconds. Cardio. Shake it out if you need to. And then same thing, other leg. Less than 10 seconds. Two seconds. Good job, cardio. We're gonna have a plie jump next. Toes turn out, come low into that plie squat, toe to heel, to land. Tuck the tailbone under, so that part is different than a regular squat. Hips are pulling toward the ribs as the tailbone tucks. Doing good. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going. Here we go. Cardio. 
Next, we're going to have a kneeling squat. So we're going to come into a kneeling position on the floor. No hands. And then you are going to low, low, bring it back down. Find that low squat, stay there. Come up with the other leg this time. It changes the dynamic. Switch back. I like to switch every two. You can switch every one if you want. in 10 seconds. Here we go. Cardio. We're going to have side gorillas next. So in between. You're going to try and rock your weight back into your heels, depending on your flexibility in your ankles or your Achilles. You might not be able to get the heel down, that's fine. Don't force it. That range of motion will come with time and practice. So low squat, center, rock that weight into the heels, rock that weight into the heels. Keeping it low again, I know we're making those thighs really work. Keep going. Doing good. Less than 10 seconds. I know my thighs were telling me to be done. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a twisting knee tap. So we'll be sitting on the mat for the next exercise. Good job, guys. Last three seconds. And then down with the mat. Balance on your butt, hands come up, knee to opposite elbow. As you twist, belly pulls in. Really twisting through the core. Look toward your back elbow. If you need to modify, keep one foot on the ground as you twist. Keep going. Less than five seconds. Cardio. We're going to have a beast rib hug next. Doing great, guys. Less than 10 seconds. Here we go. Whoop. Beast rib hug. Hover. Knees stay floating, hands under your shoulders, belly pulls in. We're going to rib our hugs. <laughs> Hug our ribs. Switch. 
breathe. Pull that belly in towards your back. Keep the back flat. Really making that core work to stabilize. Last five seconds. Cardio. We're gonna have a sit through next. Less than 10 seconds. shoulder, other side. Drop those hips toward the mat. going. Pull that belly in. Look toward the back hand to really twist through the core. Good job. Party up. We have a bear crawl next. You can choose to go fast or slow. guys. So with the bear crawl, try and keep your butt low. It takes practice. I'm going to go slow, but you can go fast. Belly pulls in. So same beast pose position. If you want to go fast, it's great. I just don't want to kick my baby's swing, so I'm going to keep it slower. Breathe. Hips low. Back flat. Keep going, guys. Cardio. Crab knee touch for next animal pose. <laughs> Go 
going with those primal instincts on this workout. Almost there. Two, one, here we go. Back on the mat, fingers toward your feet if you can. We're in a knee touch, hit. Knee touch, hit. Really press those hips high, making the backs of the legs and the glutes work. a lunge pulse or a lunge hop, your choice. Good job, guys. Last five seconds. Here we go. All one side, lunge, either pulse it out or hop, lower. Breathe. Cardio. Okay, we're going to have a rotating squat step next. Alternating sides. We've got baby cuties. <laughs> Seconds. Start in a chair squat. Place together. We're rotating out to the side. Squat. Center. Other side. Keep it low if you can. Breathe. Doing good. Keep 
going. I feel that burn too. We can do this. Here we go. Cardio. Jumping jacks are next. Other leg is next. Less than 10 seconds. Five seconds. 
Here we go. One side, hands below your shoulder, knee below your hip. Bring that foot up, knee to chest. Press through the heel. Less than five seconds. Two, one, cardio. And then other side. Exercises. Three point locust is next, so we're going to lay on our bellies on the mat. And if you want to, you can start slowing down your cardio for these last two exercises. If you're going to finish up with your cool down, or you can go full speed and then just do a little longer cool down when this is over. Good job. Here we go, onto the bellies. Arms and legs lift. So we're gonna go forward, sideways, back. Lift through it. Keep breathing. When you reach back, try and reach for those heels. Doing good. Breathe. Keep going. Excellent job, guys. Cardio and one more exercise. This is your last cardio. Last exercise is going to be a flat back lift. So we're going to stretch out those hamstrings a little bit. Get those upper glutes working. Three, two, one. Here we go. Belly pulls in, back is flat, hinging only at the hips. Flat back. Push through the heels to stand and squeeze through the boots. Seconds. 
Good job, march it out. So we want to let our bodies cool down. Breathing calm down, heart rate calm down, close to normal. And then you guys can finish with a static stretch. As always, the full length workout breakdown for the tutorial and our weekly workout schedule will be up free on my website, benderfitness.com. So I hope to see you guys there. Activity completed. Yay! And you, if you're able to make a donation to help keep us free and sustainable, you can go to patreon.com slash benderfitness. Every dollar helps, so we appreciate you. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.